they can't really sort of imagine themselves in someone else's shoes. So that's what we thought, I think. Hmm. And maybe psychologists have known this for much longer than me, but um, when I tell you the results of this study, it's kind of wild. So hmm. I would have thought that they aren't able to engage this empathy. They just don't feel for other people. They aren't able to understand what other people are feeling or they don't care or something. Um, but what they did is, so yeah, they didn't prime them and they just showed them pictures of someone receiving pain. And this did not activate the anterior cingulate cortex or the insula or any regions we would think would be involved in empathy very strongly. It kind of was just like engaging like different attentional pathways and that's about it. Uh, but if they put them back in the fMRI and said we're, or they took a different group of people, I can't remember, but they said, we are studying empathy. Now we're going to show you pictures of people in pain and we want to see how you react. Then they engage the anterior cingulate and the insular cortex. So they can choose to engage the quote unquote correct regions for feelings of empathy. So I <laughs> correct me if I'm wrong. A natural interpretation of that would be that they understand how to engage in that in empathy if they want to, but if it's not, to, it's not automatic. It's not reflexive. Um, they don't choose to turn it on by default. They only choose to do it if they think it's going to be useful or something. Them somehow yeah. or yeah. yeah.